In this video, we're going to be talking about how I created this outline of all these kind of staggered stones, if you will. And because I've had people email me to say, well, how would I create that effect? Um, or how did I create this design? And it's actually pretty easy, especially using a couple of features here inside Easy Stone. So let me kind of show you how this works. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cheat and we're going to pull in a Corel Draw file that I made a long time ago. Um, and I call it my Stone Graft. And this is actually a, a file that I use so many times. Um, it basically, I just sat down for about a half hour, 20 minutes, whatever it was, and I simply made little circles, a lot of them. And, uh, and I have this kind of pattern, and so I can use this for all kinds of different purposes. But let me show you how we were able to create this outline for the heart shape, how, how really simple it is. So in CorelDRAW, we have all these great tools available to us, and one of those is this little uh, basic shape tool. And one of the basic shapes that we can create is a heart shape. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to draw a heart over the top of my stone graph file. Now to make it easier for you to see, we're going to make it blue. So you can see a little baby blue there. Okay, So there's our heart shape. Now what we need to do is we're going to offset to the outside and to the inside. So we're going to come over here to our stone fill tab and you can see that the amount of offset is already predetermined for us based on the uh, size stone and spacing. But we can override that. So three millimeters for this particular example is quite a bit. You'll have to play with the setting to get what you want, but I'm going to try it at about, let's do one and a half millimeters. Now, here's the island fill button. So it kind of works like the contour tool. Uh, think of island fill as an offset. We can offset to the inside or outside of the existing shape. So let me show you how it works. So we have an island fill. If we tell it one step, one offset, then we click on Island Fill, you can see what it does. It offsets to the inside. Pretty easy. And notice that the offset object is separated from the original object, which of course is what we want for this case especially. Then we go back to the original object, and if I hold down my Shift key, we'll go back to one, but if I hold down my Shift key and click on Island Fill, Shift makes it go to the outside. Okay, So no Shift key, offsets to the inside, hold the shift key down, offsets to the outside. Pretty simple stuff. Now, here's where Easy Stone gets special because it does something very special for us and it's something that we can use in lots and lots of different types of designs. So I have an object here. I have a heart shape. If I come to my selections tab, I can mark this object and then I can select all my objects. So now I have everything selected and I can tell Easy Stone just select the objects that are inside the object that I marked. So right here I can choose inside, select by outline, and now just the objects that were on the inside of the original shape are selected. Now we could use this for something else if we wanted to uh, or not, either way. So now I'm going to go to the outside shape very outside one and I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna select the whole kit and caboodle again and this time I'm gonna say select everything to the outside so if we click on outside and hit select by outline now we're gonna get a selection of everything that was on the outside of my heart shape and who knows maybe we could use this for something so the only thing left to do is to delete these three hearts and see what we have left over. And there you go. There is our outline. And that's basically how I created this outline. Same basic principle. Now I would just come in and anywhere where I think, you know what, it could use an extra one there, an extra one here, maybe I'll come down here, drop one in there. I just kind of go around the whole thing. Um, if I think there's, you know, not enough variety, like, you know, maybe I'll have one sticking out there and maybe another one sticking out here whatever you like go all the way around the design see this kind of weird look in here and maybe I'll delete a stone here or there and just get it however you think it looks best alright all the way around and then it's just a matter of coming in here and all I did was I just kinda of willy-nilly 
right? I just kind of willy-nilly come in here and select a few stones. In fact, what we could do, let's do this easier. Let's select all these stones, every darn one of them, and let's change them to uh, pink, okay? And then we'll come to the stone tab and choose rename and fill. So now we changed everything to pink, and then we're going to come back and say some of these have to be fuchsia. So I'm just going to kind of randomly pick, you know, there's no real right or wrong, just kind of randomly pick and then hit rename and fill kind of as we go. And it, you know, depending on how random I want to get, I just do that all the way around. And you can see we'll just kind of highlight certain stones, change them to a little bit darker pink. And that is how we got today's um, Happy Mother's Day design. And then it was just a matter of adding some text inside. And that's how we created the little scatter effect for the heart. So you can see with the right tools, you can easily create very interesting designs. An easy stone is a big helper um, when you're working here inside CorelDRAW. Thanks for watching.